Hi, today in this video I am going to show you how to introduce inhaled nitric oxide for delivery into the phasotron circuit for use with the bronchotron ventilator. It is going to include all the parts, pieces, and components necessary, how to put those together for both the primary setup and the backup setup, and at the end a small piece on how to clean the appropriate pieces. We are going to start with the identifying the pieces, parts, and components we need to set up the primary system for nitric delivery into the phasotron circuit. So we will need a completed phasotron circuit, one nitric sample line, two orange harness tubings, one piece of oxygen tubing, and the nitric DS delivery system, which includes the main unit, the blender, the nitric tank itself, and an oxygen source. Okay, now it is time to put together the primary setup. We are going to first start with the completed phasotron circuit, and we're going to remove the two white caps one on the patient Y. Do not lose these caps if you can help it. We have extras, but you're going to need them. And then the other white cap on the phasotron body. Okay. And we are going to take one orange harness tubing and one oxygen tubing and connect the oxygen tubing to the clear end of the harness. We will take the other orange harness tubing and connect our sample line, nitric sample line, lower lock to the clear end of the orange harness. Now we will take, this will be our nitric delivery line. We are going to connect the orange harness into the gas flow on the port on the phasotron body. That is where nitric will be dumped in. Then we are going to take the other orange harness with the sample line and connect it to the port next to, on the patient Y, next to the red gauge line. Okay. And that completes the circuit. Now we will take the oxygen tubing, which is going to carry the nitric to the patient, and connect it to the metal port on the blender. And we will take the sample line, which will actually be measuring the delivered nitric parts per million dose, and we are going to connect it to the sample port on the main DS unit. Now I'm going to turn the components around and show you how to connect the blender, the DS unit, and the nitric tank. So first step, we should connect the oxygen high pressure hose from the blender to your oxygen source. Then we need to connect the blender to the DS unit to communicate. There's no real labels on the back. Um, the blender goes to the port to the farthest right. Then we are going to connect the nitric tank to communicate with the DS unit. And this is the delivery and the infrared monitoring cable lines. The infrared line goes into the port labeled IR for infrared. And there is a red dot that needs to face up in order to connect correctly. There are two remaining ports on the left hand side of the back of the unit and either one can be used and for ease I'm going to use the one all the way to the left. So now we have a nitric tank and infrared cables connected to the DS unit and the blender is also connected to the back of the unit and we have the blender connected to our O2 source. Now it's time to talk about the backup nitric delivery system. If for some reason the blender 
which runs the primary system were to fail or malfunction, we cannot stop nitric delivery, so we need an immediate alternative to continue nitric delivery. And that leads us to the backup setup. With that said, important piece, with the blender and the primary means of nitric delivery out of the picture, we also must understand with the phasotron and the bronchotron, we can no longer use the ventilator without the primary nitric delivery system. So we are going to move into hand ventilation of the baby and continuing nitric delivery for the rest of the care. Now I'm going to show you in detail how to put the backup system together. Let's put this together piece by piece. Let's start with the vital anesthesia bag. We are going to connect the oxygen tubing to deliver gas flow to the baby to the port on the elbow directly across from where your ET tube will go. And the next piece will be the oxygen tubing connected to your manometer is going to go on the other existing port on your anesthesia bag. And we are going to set this aside for now. Now let's build our nitric injector module. We have the actual injector module itself, which pay attention to the direction of the arrow on both sides of the module. Your gas flow should be going in the direction to the baby as the arrow points. We need a 15 millimeter adapter. We'll only fit on the one end of the injector module. We need one nitric tubing adapter connected to the 15 millimeter. The other nitric tubing adapter is gonna go on the other end of the injector. Okay, now we have two lines. We have the nitric cable which needs to go into the injector module, which the red dot on the cable must line up with the red dot on the injector, like that. And we have our nitric delivery tubing, which goes into the other port. Let's, we will connect those to the main unit shortly. Okay. Now you will need oxygen tubing on the end that will the end opposite of the arrow. This is going this end of the oxygen tubing is going to go to your oxygen source. In this case we're going to connect it to an E cylinder. So oxygen is coming from an E cylinder into this side of the injector gas flow goes towards your patient, which this port is where we will connect the anesthesia bag. So we will bring the anesthesia bag. Oxygen tubing from the elbow is going to go on this end of the injector. Now we must attach the cable and the nitric delivery line to the DS unit over to the unit. Again, red dot on the actual cable must line up with the red dot on the monitor. And the delivery line just plugs right in. One more piece to come off of the unit is going to be your sample line. So one end of your nitric sample line is going to go on your sample port of your unit. So we have nitric cable and delivery line coming into the injector. And let's put the injector module, the sample line, and the anesthesia bag all together. Okay. So sample line will go on to your sample T, and the sample T is going to connect prior to the patient on the anesthesia bag. So patient, sample line, anesthesia bag with manometer, and 
injector module delivering the nitric and O2 tubing line will go to an oxygen source for gas flow. Here is an overview of the primary nitric delivery setup um, connected to the ventilator and we just wanted to show you an overall view of what this looks like. So currently we have the ventilator running in high frequency on very average settings through the phasotron. We have the nitric main unit and the blender connected together and on, which are also connected to the nitric bottle. And for the primary system overview, we have the oxygen tubing delivering the nitric from the blender into the phasotron through the orange harness and O2 tubing dropping into the patient flow. We then have the orange, orange harness tubing coming off the patient Y with the sample line running back to the sample port of the DS unit which gives us our actual delivered, measured, monitored parts per million dose of nitric. And our goal is to deliver anywhere between 20 and 40 parts per million. So this primary setup is set, the blender dose is set at 80 parts per million with a three liter a minute flow dumping that into the phasotron as we discussed, which gives us approximately, currently, 30 to 32 parts per million, which is perfect. And we will talk more about the operations and management of this in another segment.